I'm thinking, aren't you hungry, zombie? Don't zombies wake up and want to eat? I fully committed to the sound, to my island, like seeing the people, really wanting to eat them. I felt like she did a really good job. She was sniffing around and really hungry. And that made that scene special. And that made that scene real. All right, Gabby, you're next. Going into this challenge, I'm just feeling really nervous and overwhelmed because I've never worked with squibs before. And, you know, you can't have your hands too close. You could blow your hand off. That, like, scares the to me. Ready, Gabby? Action! I was thinking about my mark. Where's my mark? Where's my mark? Where's my mark? I need to hit my mark because the squibs are going to go off when we hit our mark. When Gabby looked at her mark a whole bunch of times, it ruins everything. And cut. My scene sucked. I really need to get over this technical thing because it's f with my performance. The six of you are asked to play a classic character from a campy horror movie, the zombie. One of you made the most interesting choice and delivered a fun to watch and believable performance. That actress is <laughs> embrace tomorrow's challenge without hesitation. You're putting people down. I'm an opinionated person. You're very fake. The six of you are asked to play a classic character from a campy horror movie, the zombie. One of you made the most interesting choice and delivered a fun to watch and believable performance. That actress was Ty. You were funny, but you remembered your intention. You were the only zombie that I really believed was brain hungry. So good job. I am stoked. This is the moment that I've been waiting for. Callback or no callback, I felt awesome. Like I said earlier, there are no more guaranteed callbacks. No one is safe. So, good luck, and I'll see some of you in the Grand Ballroom. Thanks. I really thought yours was good, though, dude, until you, like, got to your rock, and then you were like, where's my spot? <laughs> <sighs> At this point, I just feel frustrated because I really have been putting 110% in. I honestly feel like if I wouldn't have had such a technical problem, that I would have won the challenge. Oh, yeah. Being here is really difficult to be without my daughter because she's such a huge support system for me. Sarah was having an emotional breakdown. My maternal instinct came out. I just wanted to take care of her and make sure she was okay. <laughs> okay, come here. I can't, like, take it being away from her because she makes me strong. I know it's difficult. Trust me, I do. It's just, like, I never had anybody proud of me. And then, and then she came along and it's, like, <laughs> she's so proud of me. You are not alone. Tonight, imagine me there by your side. My daughter is like the one person who accepts me with all of my flaws and loves me unconditionally. And it's really hard for me to be without her. I know it's difficult, but your your whole reason for being here Aww. is right there. By fulfilling your dreams, you're ensuring that she's gonna have that opportunity as well. I just miss her, you know? I know why I'm here. And in the long run it is for her. It just makes me realize, like, why I want to fight so bad to win this. this time I'll stay. When we come into homeless class, I see a guy sitting next to him. I'm like, oh, wow, we've never had a guest before. This week, it's all about campy horror movies. Now, comedy is oftentimes part of the horror genre. 
But I'm warning you, comedy is hard. So today, I want you guys to meet Joe Wengert from Upright Citizens Brigade, one of the country's top improvisational comedy groups. When people come into our classes, there are usually a lot of misconceptions about what it means to be funny. We want our comedy here to be smart, not just silly. So we're gonna find one funny thing to focus on. Everything else should remind us of real life. These improvisational scenarios we're gonna throw at you are gonna push you guys way outside your comfort zone. But if you want to be a scream queen, you better be able to think on your feet. It kind of scares me getting up there and not having any script and just having to create this whole scenario on your own and be funny at the same time. We're going to do a set of scenes all existing in a world where things like Frankenstein and werewolves exist. Except they're commonplace. You have to interact with them all the time. So you still have to be as real as possible. I want a really solid acting performances within the comedic scenario. You may be going for laughs, but you better create a character I can believe. Let's get started. Christine and Ty. You are going to be a meter maid and you're giving a parking ticket to Frankenstein. I'm just thinking, Frankenstein, what does he do? He walks with his arms out and he kind of groans. He doesn't say much. Oh. Hey, pal, I'm sorry. You can't park this. Oh. Yes, they've told you. Oh. Okay, buddy, if I have to call for backup, you're done. Even if you're a Frankenstein, you're supposed to be a normal person. And if you hit a city official, you're going to jail. Are you kidding me? Like, that's what you think of? She wasn't thinking. I was so frustrated. I wanted to whack her with my imaginary book. Ooh. Hey, you. I'm gonna need backup here. This is a world where Frankensteins exist and Frankensteins can go to jail. So, what are other things you do in real life? When you see a cop, about to write you a ticket. What do you do? Explain my case yeah, and beg. Yeah, exactly. That's what's funny. It's going to be funny if Frankenstein's like, nah, Because yeah. it's Frankenstein doing that. Stay up there, and now you're going to be Frankenstein. I feel like I'm a very versatile actress. I can do anything. I can do funny. I'm not afraid to go there. I'm not afraid to make myself look like an idiot. <gasps> You're getting a ticket. You're illegally parked. There's a red right here. You're like three feet in the red. What are you going to do? <laughs> oh, I know. <sighs> I'm just doing my job. Your tags are expired. I mean, it's... That's <gasps> I love it. They're expired by like a year and a half. All right, great. So you did a really good job of like really committing to it. Like if you listen to the other person and react normally, that's what's funny about it. Sierra and Jessica. So in this one, you're a seamstress and you are a mummy. And it's a mummy that's getting married and putting on a wedding dress. I like to be silly. I want to make people laugh. But the thing with improv is it has to be smart and believable. So it's not as easy as it seems. Hello, beautiful. How are you? Mm. Ready to try in some dresses? <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Keep it real. We're going to try to mm. fit in the arms here. Oh, it hurt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's try to, like, squeeze it in here. Now you're being like a cartoon. I'm kind of nervous about this because I've never really worked on comedy. And honestly, I didn't know what Sierra was trying to do.